Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. Well, Microsoft Office 2008 is almost out and I know we're all very excited about it. Or are we? I mean, if you're a casual user, $400 is a lot of money to shell out for some occasional word processing. Fortunately, there's some good alternatives out there. Let's take a look at them. The first one we should look at, of course, is the Pages application in iWork. The whole iWork suite is only $79 from Apple and, of course, it works flawlessly on Leopard and Tiger. It also includes Numbers and Keynote if you need those sort of things. Pages is also compatible with Word and has a full set of features. It's kind of a desktop publishing type of application too for some casual use anyway. So it's probably the first thing you should take a look at. There are two other word processors out there that you can also buy. One is called Think Free, which unfortunately isn't free, but it is only 50 bucks. So if you buy that, there's an entire office suite with it. Another alternative to that is Nissus Writer, which has a Nissus Writer Express version for only $45 and a full version for $80. Bucks. Uh, both of these have word compatibility and lots of features as well. There's also Papyrus, which is from ROM Logicware. This one's a little more expensive and almost $100. Now, if you're looking for something that's absolutely free, there's two apps that I've seen. One is OpenOffice. OpenOffice.org has an entire suite of applications that you can use. Another one that you can go with is one called Abbey Word. Now Abbey Word is part of uh, a suite of applications but it also can be downloaded by itself and this seems to be a very powerful uh, word processor for free for Mac. Um, both OpenOffice and Abbey Word seem to be very Microsoft Word compatible as well. Now a kind of new alternative to word processing as an application is word processing as a web app. So in other words you go to a website and you could do your word processing there. At the forefront of this is Google Docs. And Google Docs is kind of a rough word processor that has some word compatibility. You can basically open Word documents but probably can't format them as well as you could with Word or one of the other apps I've mentioned. But it excels in uh, sharing. You can share with other users and collaborate on projects. A newcomer to this field is also the Buzzword program. The Buzzword program is from Adobe and it uses Flash rather than just straight browser technology. Probably too early to start using this for real use, but take a look at the beta and uh, see if it'll work in the future for you. I should also mention a great alternative is TextEdit. TextEdit already comes with OS X and has a ton of options like formatting, inserting tables, and can even open up Word documents. So for casual word processing, it's a great tool. You don't have to bother with any of these. Another thing you can do is go with more of a coders type of word processor. Something like BBEdit, Subetha Edit, Text Wrangler, those sorts of things. They're usually shareware, though there's some free versions of them. And you can use them for editing basic text if you're not concerned too much about the formatting. Well, that's a quick look at some of the alternatives to using Word, especially if you're a casual user or it's a small office and you don't really need the type of formatting and features that Word or even Pages and iWork bring you. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.